this poor old engine was in pretty bad condition when I bought it. Um, I did manage to get it running on air with just a couple of minor repairs. But cosmetically it was pretty dire. Bits were missing, bits were rusty. But I've uh, managed to get people to make reproduction parts for all the bits that were missing. I've de-rusted and repainted the rusty bits. And does now actually work quite well. Ah, I spoke too soon. The burner seems to have sprung a leak. Oh well. Okay, well I've resoldered the joint in the tank that was leaking. It appears to be alright now. It'd have to be repainted of course, but uh, not for the moment.
Not in the main bits so I have to have remade. As missing is the complete uh, end top cap and chimney boiler. Got a friend to make that cap for me, or at least partly make it, so I finish it up myself. And I artificially aged it. The safety bar is also missing. That's replacement and that was replica made by another friend of mine. The burner. And it does seem to be holding okay. The burner is a replica of the Luton Bowman burner, which was almost the right size. I had to Modify it slightly. So it would fit this engine, and it was probably my fault that it leaked. The base was repainted. That was rather rusty, and the paint that was on it was, I don't think it was original anywhere. The uh, gear rail there, the big one, although it looks like Meccano, it's not actually Meccano, it's a special one. Meccano one doesn't fit. But that's a Another a replica made by yet another friend. The only thing I can think of at the moment I haven't fixed is the overflow cock there, which is completely sealed solid, seized solid. Fortunately, it's seized in the uh, in closed position. I intend to leave it as it is. It does sometimes self-start and reverse it, not always. And you don't expect a single cylinder, single acting oscillating cylinder engine to be self starting. There's no complaints there.